What is going on, fishing freaks? Welcome to another fantastical adventure out on the Amazon River. And today is day three of fishing. I'm sitting here with my new friend, Armorall. One of the, the best and oldest guides on this river. He's been doing it for the longest out here on the Ron Speed's adventures. So he knows where the big ends are. Vamos Fugido. Vamos Fugido. Armorall's a jokester. We're gonna have some fun today, baby. Yeehaw! chop of the day. I can already feel my face burning. See that? Yeah. I just saw a fish over here. Oh, got it. Oh, he came off. He came off. Another one. They're feeding. Oh, oh got him right on the big fish. Oh gosh. Oh. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, God, he smoked it right as it. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> nice fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Woo! Armor all. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's how we do it. Oh my goodness. Woo, he's feisty. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. Press right here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take a picture. Yeah. Got it? Oh, like this? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> That's okay. Very strong. Very strong. Oh. Yes. Okay. Sweet, yeah. It's good. Well, what do we got here? 16. 16, 16. baby. Yeah, hey, Omro, that's awesome, dude. That's the biggest peacock of my life in the first <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> awesome, yes. man. All right, let's let Give him it. go. Oh, that's a big Woo! fish. <laughs> oh. Beautiful fish. <laughs> angry. Okay. Very angry. Golly. Splash the camera. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Look at my thumb. That fish, he took one <laughs> shake. He got me good. Those fish are strong. <laughs> Woo. All right, might have to doctor that up a little bit. Then we got to get back to fishing, baby. As soon as it hit the water. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're good. Oh my gosh. Well. Oh. A lot of fish in here. Oh, my hand hurts in the best way possible. 16 pound peacock. Oh, dolphin. Oh! Uh oh! He slipped off. He was not as big, though. Going crazy in here. Did you try a jerk bait? Oh, got him, got him. Oh, got him. There we go. 
peacock on the jerk bait. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, nice, nice jump. Woo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> Golly, they crush this so hard. Pretty fish. Beautiful fish. Look at that. That is awesome. Another beautiful peacock right there. That's a spotted peacock. Right arm raw. It's a pretty fish. All right, let's let him go. Put him back in the water. <laughs> they love splashing the camera. <laughs> jerk, jerk. Oh gosh! Oh, oh my god! About jerked the rod out of my hand. <laughs> Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh baby. Oh, I got some fight. Look at those jumps. Look at those jumps. I think he's still a little fresh. Oh, there's another one behind it. Big one. Big one. Oh, that one about ripped the rod out of my hand. That was incredible. Wow. I want to throw Chop Chop back in there. Seems like Chop Chop gets the bigger ones. God, when they cream this jerk bait, it's Unbelievable. Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Another one on the jerk bait. Hey, hey, easy release. Okay. He said, he said, get your ass to work with that wood chopper, son. Big tree. Oh man, speaking my language, baby. That's the really cool thing about fishing down here with these guys. You know, there's a little language barrier, but everybody understands tree, big fish, throw there. You know, when bait fish start jumping, it's, it's everybody knows what's going on. It's, it's the universal language of fishing. Now I kind of relate this wood chop fishing to fishing big swim baits back in the United States for largemouth. It's the only really close thing I think of because you don't get that many bites doing it. But the big bass or the big peacock bass, they love it. But you gotta have it on the right fish and you gotta have the right noise. You know, just like swim bait fishing, they have time to look at it. It's really gotta be a meal for them. They have to look at it as, I'm gonna spend the energy to go grab this thing, it better be something good. So just like fishing big swim baits back home, I mean, you need the same kind of gear as well. I'd, re I'd relate the same kind of gear, putting in the time and then getting rewarded by a big fish. The only difference is this bite is a hell of a lot better. Time to move, Vamanos. Okie dokie. We gonna look for more points now. More points, wood, trees, big ones like the chop chop, like Armor all says. But it's nice to have a little relief. Even though uh, jerk bait fishing is not um, easy, it is a actual relief from fishing that wood chopper. So right now I've got two wood chopper side on, and I've got one jerk bait. And uh, the jerk bait's on 65 pound braid, and I got 65 and 80 pound braid on the wood choppers. This ain't no kid games. Honestly, I'd be like super thrilled with anything over 10 pounds. I mean, you think about a 10 pound bass. My biggest bass is 11 pounds, four ounces. I just caught a 16 pound bass, basically, uh, that fights a lot harder than a largemouth. So that is pretty outstanding, folks. And I think uh, I think we're due for another another big one. Uh, the the huge goal down here that I've learned, you know, kind of like catching a 10 pound bass in America is 20 pounds down here. 20 pound peacock bass is like the pinnacle. That's what everybody comes down here and try to get. I'm not necessarily there yet. This is my first time. I'm just kind of like taking in everything and learning everything. Uh, but if I caught one over 20 pounds, I sure wouldn't be too sad about it. So awesome morning here. Macaws are flying over. 
fish are busting. It's a great day in the jungle. Peacocks, way back in the woods. Woodcocks. So I hit it so hard I broke the branch. I mean, let's not act like fishing a forest, you're not gonna get hung in a tree here, fishing freaks. To sit in, you know, Bill Dance shows here, this is real life. Como se llama tree? Oh, that's <laughs> no facile. Macacalecuya. Macacalecuya. That's a cool name. Macac is also a monkey. Macacalecuya. The fruit. The fruit. The macacs eat the fruit. Macacalecuya. Me gusta. Good fish. Oh. Got him. Oh, good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. I got to experience the fight. Woo. That was a good bite. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, big fish. Throw again. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. He just had the very end. All right, I'm gonna try a little jerk bait action here. Oh God! Oh, yeah. Oh God! Oh God! Not the same fish. Little fish. Oh. Ooh, that's why you use braid. Not the same fish. <laughs> Is it a big fish? Here? There's multiple fish in there. Okay. Good fish. Nice, pretty fish spotted. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll let him go. Pretty fish. Nice, got that one on the old jerk bait after the big one blew up on my top water like four times. Well, we had some good bites on that little last stretch coming around that point right there. One big one. He hit my top water like three or four times. Awesome to see. I never get tired of seeing those top water strikes. We fish more points now? Okay, we're gonna head up river, try to find some more points. You have good skills. You can run the trolling motor <laughs> from backwards. That's pretty good. I think Armor has done this a time or two. That's, that's pretty good. I might try that when I get home. Jimmy Houston cast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Feeding. Peacocks. Peacocks are feeding. Oh! Oh my god, that scared the scared the shit out of me. Oh, I'm 
all just jacked one off this tree. Oh my god, that explosion. Good job. Oh baby. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey. Good job, I'm wrong. I'm just breaking my lens out. There's all these crazy birds. What's that noise? Noise, a key? No. Bird? Some crazy birds are out here. I don't even know what they're doing. Making noises I've never heard before. Fish and Freaks, I think we're gonna end this video right here. It's been an awesome morning of, of chop chopping. I'm not sure we can uh, improve on that this afternoon. Gotten a grasp on the peacocks down here. It's only one thing. It's the star of the show, of course but there's a lot of other fish. There's a lot of other things to see down here and experience. So I think this afternoon we're gonna play around with some other stuff and I'll save that for a next video. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on, a lot of new species, a lot of things to talk about. But what I would like to do before we close it out is talk about some of the gear, uh, the importance of different things. If any of y'all are gonna come down here and do this, I wanna share that information with you. And I gotta thank my boy Armoral right here for putting us on the big fish. Biggest peacock of my life. Gotta love it. All right, we're heading back in. We'll check in at the dock. that they call the wood chopper. It's a piece of balsa. It can be hand painted. Some of them are uh, acrylic. Some of them are, are this balsa and have different coatings on them and things like that. The best ones that I've seen are definitely balsa because they float the best. That's key. Because usually you're gonna take the stock hooks off this when you're fishing for peacocks because they hit it so hard. A lot of times you're fishing around cover. Similar to bass fishing, you're using braid so you need to upgrade the hooks. And I, I've already seen fish bend these hooks out and rip them off the split rings. So these things have to be beefed up to be able to handle these peacocks. Even five, six, seven, eight pounders can do serious damage. So it's crazy. There's a wire that runs through this connecting all the componentry. And then you gotta make sure that your prop is spinning good. The main thing is when you're, you're fishing these, you don't want it here. Don't want it here, don't even want it level. You want it right there. Right there's where the money is. That's gonna give you the most spit, the best sound. And like this one here, I fished it a lot. This is what I caught the big 16 pounder on. It started nose diving on me and it wouldn't work right. It's a shoo, 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 sweeping action. And after a while, this one just became no good. It, it kind of soaked up, you know, it doesn't have any coating on it, so water soaked into it. I was fishing this on a 7.3 Heavy uh, Favorite Rush series rod. 7.3 Heavy's been really good this week. Uh, it's basically like what I would throw big heavy jigs on, swim baits, uh, big Texas rigs, things like that. That works really good for these big top waters. Now, what I didn't like about this rod using it, even though I caught big fish on it, the broad butt's a little short. Um, so, you know, even though it's good for some bass fishing situations when you're when you're sweeping this thing all day and it's just wearing you out, having that little short butt kind of hinders you. You have to use more of your, your hands and your arms. Now, this has been the best rod for this week. This is the Phantom 7.3 Heavy and it's built a little bit bigger. It's the heaviest rod that Favorite makes, like weight wise, but it's got a longer butt, a butt on it. So I can stick that right there and any kind of big top water or swim bait that you're working, just having that right there where you can get your torso into it, gives you a lot better hook sets, just makes your day easier. I mean, if I lifted my shirt up, you guys would see bruises and everything right now, it's crazy. Really the main goal, if you're gonna fish these things all day and try to make every cast count, is to make sure you're as comfortable as possible while you're fishing it and be the most efficient 
angler you can be. You gotta make tons of casts to try to get the big bites. That's what all the big fish are coming on down here. I thought it was a little bit superstitious, but it's true. The big fish really like these. We've caught a lot of fish on jerk baits and other things, but these big top water wood choppers are doing the deal. But they're just hard to fish all day. Another thing is having a really comfortable reel. You know, I was kind of thinking maybe I should bring some bigger size reel, maybe a 300 size reel or an old round reel or something like that. No, that's not what you want to do. You want to go with as fast of gear ratio as you possibly can and you also want to have the most comfortable reel uh, in your hand ergonomically as you can. You don't want to be uncomfortable when you're fishing these things. You don't have to have super big reels to handle these fish. They just need to be good quality reels. I definitely recommend aluminum frame reels. You're not going to you're going to break a graphite based reel. I mean, you just take a good quality bass reel down here that's got some good drag that you can cast really well. It'll hold up to these fish. This one here is what I've caught the most fish on, but what I've realized is this is a 6.5 to 1 gear ratio reel. You know, it's not it's not efficient for fishing these big top waters, especially when you're making long casts. A lot of your line is leaving the reel and then you're left with a super slow gear ratio at the end of your cast. So the reason why I switched over to this rod combo is just because I put a higher speed gear ratio reel on here. This is a seven two to one, I believe. I really need like an eight to one or, or above. And with the jerk baits, that could be really tough too. If you guys have ever fished a jerk bait for bass all day, you know it's pretty tough. Fishing a jerk bait for peacock bass, bigger gear, bigger equipment, Whoa, it'll wear your butt out, but it has been very effective. And this is the jerk bait that, I've, that I was throwing today. This is a, a, I forget the size, it's a Lucky Craft Pointer. It's one of the biggest ones that they make. Change the hooks out, change the split rings out, and fishing it on 65 pound braid, and I'm fishing it on the 7.4 Heavy 6 stick. A quick twitch seems to be the best. Um, gear ratio doesn't really matter on, on, the, on the jerk bait, but just having that uh, braided line on a pretty stiff rod to be able to get those fish away from the cover and be able to get the good action out of those bigger jerk baits. So in sum, if you come down here or if you're just fishing big top waters at other lakes, freshwater, saltwater, go with that extra long rod, 7'3", 7'4", really good at getting distance. You know, where the boat is positioned in the water, I can stand up and I can fish that down or to the side fine without hitting the rod tip to the water, but I get that really long cast. Get you as high of a speed gear ratio reel as you possibly can that is still good quality and will hold up to casting big plugs all day. And I guess the last Last tip is make sure to eat your Wheaties because you're going to be doing some serious arm work all day. Fishing Freaks, I hope you enjoyed this awesome day. Catching my best peacock bass ever, 16 pounds, baby. That might be a wall or ocean spoon girl. Sorry about it. Might be going up on the wall. Make sure you smash the old like button for that. And I will be linking uh, the people that I'm going out with on this trip. This is uh, Ron Speed's Adventures. They do eco tours and obviously peacock bass. They've done it a long time. Um, and I'm going to be linking them below and they've got a bunch of bunch of guides out here We're switching up guides every day and we still got a lot of days left in our journey fishing freaks Thanks for coming along for the top water explosions and the amazing adventure here in the Amazon fishing freaks We got more fish coming at you on the next video We'll see you then That's how we do it.